Travis Wayne Goodsell. We shall liken the Book of Mormon scripture about Alma to ourselves. Mosiah chapter 18. <clears throat> Alma was one of the wicked priests of King Noah. King Noah had established the great and abominable church and was paying the Lamanites funding their war operation to eventually come and destroy the people of King Noah. And so uh, Abinadi got on YouTube and started posting videos warning the people of King Noah <clears throat> hey guys you gotta be good war is coming the latter day war is coming the prophecies are happening you need to be good come out of the great and abominable church They're seeking to destroy you they have paid the Lamanites to cause the latter day war and they are seeking to murder you and so Alma <coughs> believed the words of Abinadi when he was locked up in King Noah's Nazi concentration camp and was tortured for six years <coughs> and Abinadi was interrogated by the priests and he was eventually murdered and Alma couldn't handle that that was a, that was a straw that broke the camel's back and he realized that he was in the great and abominable church tried to get his fellow priests and King Noah to to stop and they chased him out wanted to murder him for supporting Abinadi who wanted to save their lives in the latter days. And so Alma fled and was able to get away. And he only would teach the words of Abinadi, who was murdered, trying to save their lives. And so he went to a place called Mormon. I want to put in <laughs> other names <clears throat> where there was a fountain of pure water and uh, there were others among the Great and Abominable Church who realized that the Great and Abominable Church was the Great and Abominable Church and they secretly went out to the waters of Mormon where Alma was preaching the words of Abinadi to them who had died for them to try to save them <coughs> and this is where baptism is involved as we learn the definition of baptize immersion in water And eventually, uh, there was a big enough group who were being taught about the knowledge of their Redeemer from the words of Abinadi. But the king found out about it. And the king interpreted this as a rebellion. And so he came down with his armies for a liberation peacekeeping mission in the country that was paid for by the king <coughs> to uh, return them to the great and abominable church and they had the exodus 450 million souls 
four million fifty hundred thousand. It's not quite four million yet, is it? I mean, come on. <coughs> and so, yeah, they fled the country. <coughs> and we're now refugees. <coughs> we are hearing from this war of opportunities for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints to step up and rescue and save lives. Unfortunately, the church only gave 1,100 sleeping bags to Poland for over uh, 1.67 million. Can't remember the number that was last updated. Even if it were just for the Mormons who the state president dropped the ball, refused to be like Alma. He's in the role to be like Alma, like Moses, for his stake members. And instead, the church updated us saying that he's still there with all the members. Right there at the Capitol. That's, that's horrifying. People are dying. The church pulled out the missionaries and closed the temple early in advance. That's how I knew there was going to be a war. Whereas everybody else was going, I don't know, well, maybe we can have diplomacy. Maybe he'll stop and won't go through with it. He would never do it, would he? Yeah, when the church pulled the missionaries, yeah, I did the video. It's coming. Sure enough, what do you know? because the church paid for the war in Ukraine. The church came out with first presidency statement saying Ukraine needs to surrender. All you NATO allies, you must let Putin peacefully take over Ukraine and return it to Russia so that the church can have their temple in Russia finally. Now, if you're unfamiliar with business dealings with Russia, that's how they work. It's sort of like the magic genie. You get three wishes, but you have to be very precise, and he'll still try to screw you. <laughs> For example, years back, I was aware of the release of a Steven Seagal movie and uh, knew that he was in Russia and, and uh, wanted to get the movie and so I reached out hey Russia I know you're already watching my channel <laughs> help me get Steven Seagal's movie and so, a short time later, sure enough, Amazon had it available. And it was available for shipment in three months. <laughs> That's how they operate. <clears throat> and so, apparently the church either is purely innocent they didn't know they were paying for Armageddon in Exit or Ezekiel 38 chapter heading by Bruce R. McConkie. 
<clears throat> or they knew exactly the kind of snake they were dealing with. Being a snake themselves, thinking that they would not be bitten by the other snake. Because of their great wealth over Putin. <clears throat> so, yeah, I've been warning of when Nelson got up and announced a temple yet to be determined in Russia that deeply troubled me and now we know why in retrospect so the history of the people is now set in stone of course the church wants that records destroyed remember when I was on Facebook in 2014 I uh, was friends with a Mormon from the UK and I didn't realize it at the time because I didn't know that the Smiths were a part of the York Rites that had the Knights Templar he knew though he didn't understand but he knew and he he bought himself a whole Knights armor with a sword and everything and posted it on his Facebook channel I thought that was a little uh, over the edge at the time I thought he was going beyond the mark not understanding that the Smiths were in the York Rites Freemasonry not the Scottish Rites <clears throat> because the church withholds that information from us we have to actually search for it and in order to search for it you have to know of it <laughs> and so the church thinks they got us and can deceive and blind but uh, he would talk about in his posts with me his communications with me <clears throat> about uh, the uh, scriptures about an exodus and he was talking about a Moses for all over the world to lead them to Zion which he and I both still believed at that time that we, it was Missouri but uh, he, he, he knew of uh, the exodus knew of the man like Moses and uh, was wondering about that uh, and uh, uh, here we are as uh, wars are breaking out in other parts of the world as well we just don't hear about them from the news unless you're getting the right news Reuters covers some of the wars that are going on elsewhere for example <clears throat> but uh, uh, everybody's focused on Ukraine right now and uh, both Ukraine and Russia Mormons had the opportunity to put to work the warning message in the Book of Mormon to flee like Alma and his people when war came they knew in advance the church did the news were pulling missionaries out of Ukraine that in and of itself if you still believe the church is true you should have said uh oh the church is pulling out our missionaries I think we better make preparations to Exodus because as a stake president as a bishop it is your responsibility to care for your flock and yes you might have to say okay we are going to be attacked those who wish to stay behind to defend our land our country with the rest of our fellow Ukrainians we bid you farewell but we're going to organize 
evacuations of the rest of our membership to get them to safety. They didn't do it, did they? The church told us they didn't do it. In Russia, oh, Putin's going down for a peacekeeping mission in Ukraine. <laughs> but the church that I belong to and I'm a Mormon has pulled out the missionaries from Ukraine. Huh. That peacekeeping mission might incur a sanctioning wrath by Europe and the United States. That sanctioning might destroy our economy. It might make our supplies of essential needs scarce. It might raise the cost of things. It might collapse our banks. So I have no money to buy things. And Putin has shut off the internet to the rest of the world. There was even a blackout, I understand, as well as in Ukraine in retaliation for the blackout in Russia. Companies are pulling their businesses, and Putin is saying, okay, they're now going to be mine. They're going to be the state businesses. Yeah, the economy is now under the government control. He's transforming it into full fascism. As the rest of the world says, oh, Putin is stupid. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's making a big mistake. Oh, lots of errors. But the missionaries are still in Russia during this collapse. During this suffering of the Russian people. Because sanctions affect the people, and they hope that that would convince Putin to stop. And it's not, yet they won't do what's necessary to stop Putin. Until Putin crosses the line and attacks a NATO country. As if human beings aren't sufficient enough to try to save and rescue people. The state presidents in Russia, the bishops in Russia, have failed their flock. It's not just about being the leader and making appearances with the mantle. You're actually supposed to get revelation to warn your flock. And if necessary, as in this case, lead an exodus in advance of the coming war and the fallback for the coming war on your country. So the Mormons, they're trapped in Russia. The missionaries, trapped in Russia. And there's no end in sight for when they will be set free. Because where are they going to go? They can't get a plane out. They have to walk out to get across the border, make it past the border guards, to get into a NATO country. And there, seek asylum. But they're not doing it. Those missionaries eventually have to come home from their mission, having served a full-time mission. We're not hearing about them. Now, yes, they can't proselytize, and so they aren't technically missionaries, but we all know they are. I mean, Nelson assigned five new replacements for the five Russian missions with mission presidents. 
So we know they're still doing missions in Russia, even though they don't call it that. They're sort of deceiving Putin. <clears throat> but those Mormons are now in danger. They are in bondage, just like Alma and his people eventually did get caught by the the Lamanites who assigned the high priests to be over them. Because the high priests, they fled and abandoned their people, left the people to die. So I wonder if that might have been the inspiration for Joseph Smith's parable prophecy. section 101 starting in verse 43 but verse 51 and the enemy came by night broke down the hedge and the servants of the nobleman arose and were affrighted and fled those are the priests of King Noah and they fled abandoned the people The enemy destroyed their works, broke down the olive trees, who are the membership. This is talking about the great and abominable church. What would happen to it? This is a time for Mormons to stand up and be heroes. To be the man like Moses with the Exodus. Section 103, verses 15 and 16 and 17 and 18. Behold, I say unto you, the redemption of Zion must needs come by power. This is what that UK Mormon was telling me about. Therefore I will raise up unto my people a man. Yeah, there is supposed to be a presider, high priest, like Moses. But... Uh, like in the scriptures unto yourselves stake presidents and bishops who have failed the Mormons who have demonstrated you do not have priesthood authority you are not prophets, seers, revelators or translators to your flock remember you're supposed to for your flock and you don't for your flock you have failed them. You have revealed you are false. That your priesthood has been amended a long time ago. Who shall lead them like as Moses led the children of Israel. For ye are the children of Israel and the seed of Abraham, and ye must be led out of bondage by power and with a stretched out arm and as your fathers were led at first even so shall the redemption of Zion be this is it guys the refugees are not going back to Ukraine they've been displaced they are ruined destroyed As much as Ukraine hopes that they will win, the Russians are already setting up the pretext for chemical warfare against the Ukrainians. They're bombing civilians. They're bombing hospitals with pregnant women and children. They are not playing by the rules of war. They're trying to exterminate the Ukrainians. To kick them out of Ukraine permanently. They've occupied two nuclear power plants.
Putin doesn't know what he's doing, huh? Um, problem is the Mormon leadership in those local areas and in Russia don't know what they're doing. <laughs>